Let's dive into more detailed explanations now. And let's start with the playback options. The first thing we use to control playback is the playhead. This vertical line here that extends from the top of the track area to the bottom. Now this shows you the current playing position of the project. There are three ways to move the playhead with the mouse. The first one is to grab that little triangle at the top and drag it. The second one is to grab the playhead by going to an area that does not have a track region. So if you see, as long as I'm on a track region, I won't be able to grab it. But as soon as I'm at an area with no track region, then the mouse pointer changes and I can freely move the playhead. Now these ways are used to move and scrub. Now if you want to place the playhead to a specific part, simply click anywhere on the ruler. Now the ruler is this, play, this bar up here with the lines, the subdivisions. And as soon as I hover my mouse over it, you can see it changes. So let's say that I want to place my playhead on bar 14. I simply click on it. And so on. Now another way to move it is to use the LCD screen. Now the first box, as it's currently set up, indicates the bars and bits of the project. So if I click and drag on this, I can place the playhead where I want. Same for bits. And you can of course type it in as well. So I can just double click. Let's say that I want bar 9. I type 9 and then press enter and it will snap on bar 9. Now we also get a playhead when we open other windows to work on audio or MIDI. For example, if I open the audio editor, you can do that by going to window and open audio track editor, or you can just simply double click on it. You can see that we also get a playhead here. And if I move it, you're going to see that it moves the one in the track area. So it's essentially the same playhead. I'm going to press E to get rid of that. Now, we've seen how the ruler is used to place the playhead to the section that you want. Now, there are other rulers in Logic. And the one that I use quite often is the secondary one. So to enable it, you go to View and then click on Secondary Ruler. Now that will bring up time position for hours, minutes and seconds. Now you can use that ruler as well to move the playhead. Now both rulers will change depending on how zoomed you are. For example, pay attention to one bar. Let me highlight it as well. Let's use bar 9. Now as you can see, it gives us time on the secondary ruler and on the primary ruler we get the bit subdivisions. Its line within the bar is a quarter note. Now, as I zoom in, you can see that more lines are added and more time detail. So the quarter notes become sixteenth notes and so on. Now, the smart control bar contains the transport buttons. We use these to move the playhead, control playback and start recording. So, from left to right, we have the rewind button. Now, each click will move you one bar to the left or the right. Important shortcut, comma and full stop, or dot if you will. So, I can just use this to move by one bar. So, comma and dot. Now, another important shortcut is to use these shortcuts with in combination with the shift button. Now, that will move the playhead forward or backwards by eight bars. So, shift and full stop, 8 bars forwards, and then shift and comma, 8 bars backwards. Okay, next to that we have the go to the beginning uh, button, important shortcut, enter. So each time I press enter, no matter where I am, it will take me to the beginning. Uh, next to that, we've got the play button. Uh, important shortcut, which I'm sure you can guess what it is, is spacebar. Oh, and as you can see, the go to the beginning button, as long as there's playback, it will turn to the stop button. Now, another way to start playback is to double click on the ruler at the position we want to start playback. Let's say that I want to start playback at bar 15. I can simply double click on it and it will start playback from there. 
Next to that we've got the record button, start recording, important shortcut R as in Romeo. And next to that we've got the cycle which will have its own video. Now let's go over some options for those that have an extended keyboard with a numerical keypad. Now you can start playback by pressing enter. And you can stop playback by pressing zero. Now you might be wondering what's the point of that. Well, it has some other functions. Now let's say that I place my playhead here on bar 14. And I want to preview that section. So if I press enter and it starts playback, if I press it again, it will start from the last start position. So it will always go back to bar 14. Now if I press play and then stop it, I can double press enter and it will again start from the last playing position. Now you may be thinking that the transport buttons and control bar in general is a bit minimalistic. And all of that can be customized in Logic. So if you right click on it and then go to customize control bar and display, you get a list of all the buttons you can add. So on the transport list, you get the playback options. Let's add a few. And now you can see that they have been added to our transport buttons. Uh, you can revert that to get rid of them. And lastly, the four buttons to the right can behave differently if you want. So if you right click on them, you get a list of options. This will affect how the button behaves. More on that later.